Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 764. The category is Who Am I? This is round number five of Who Am I? which has been a pretty popular category lately, so I'm going to keep it going. Who Am I? is a first-person description. I will describe myself to you. You will answer with Who Am I? I think that pretty much describes it. Good luck. Question one. They call me the Oracle of Omaha because of my success over the last several decades in the stock market. I am the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, and my method of value investing for the long term has made me a billionaire. Who am I? The Oracle of Omaha is Warren Buffett. Question number two. I have collaborated with filmmaker Martin Scorsese nine times, at least, including one of my most famous movies when I played Jimmy Conway in 1990's gangster movie Goodfellas. I also co-founded the Tribeca Film Festival in 2002. Who am I? The answer is Robert De Niro. Question number three. I was the commander of German armies during World War I and emerged as a national hero despite Germany's defeat. In 1933, I appointed Hitler as chancellor. I'll be remembered for that terrible mistake and for being the namesake of a giant airship. Who am I? I am Hindenburg, Paul von Hindenburg. Question number four. After the TV show My So-Called Life, I made my film debut in 1995's How to Make an American Quilt. Now I split my time between starring in movie roles like The Joker in the DC Universe and making music with my band 30 Seconds to Mars. Who am I? I am Jared Leto. Question number five. Born to a Canadian mother and a South African father, I received my bachelor's degree from the University of Pennsylvania and then jumped right into the business world. After starting companies like Zip2 and PayPal, I eventually became the world's richest man. Who am I? The answer is Elon Musk. Question number six. A spokesman for democracy and an American founding father, I was the principal author of the Declaration of Independence. After we started our brand new country, I took the lead as its third president in the early 1800s. Who am I? I am Thomas Jefferson. Question number seven. The world's foremost expert on chimpanzees, I spent the better part of 50 years living with them in the jungle, studying, observing, and learning about them. My work has completely formed the modern opinion and understanding of the species. Who am I? I am Jane Goodall. Question number eight. The most popular professional wrestler of the 1980s and one of the most recognized ever, I split my time between the ring and the big screen. Body slamming Andre the Giant one day, starring in movies like Suburban Commando and Rocky III the next day. Who am I?
The answer is Hulk Hogan. Question number nine. You can have a car painted any color that you want, as long as it's black, was one of my most famous comical quotes, but there was nothing funny about me revolutionizing the auto industry with my assembly lines and my Model Ts. Who am I? I am Henry Ford. Question number 10. Frequently compared to Michael Jordan in debates of who was the best basketball player ever, I always come in at least second. Even my version of Space Jam wasn't as good. I did become the first active player to accumulate $1 billion in earnings, so I got that going for me. Who am I? I am LeBron James. Question number 11. After deciding to capitalize on the new internet boom of the late 1990s, I decided that selling books would be an easy way to grow quickly. I started Amazon.com and now 20 years later, it's one of the world's largest companies and I'm one of the world's richest men. Who am I? I am Jeff Bezos. Question number 12. After my father passed away, I took over for him as the supreme leader of North Korea. Since 2011, I have been in charge of the country and have always been the subject of controversy and criticism in the world news. Who am I? I am Kim Jong-un. Question 13. In 1989, I won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for my role as an ex-slave soldier in the movie Glory. In the 1990s and 2000s, I hit full-blown movie star status with hits like Man on Fire, The Book of Eli, and The Equalizer movies. Who am I? The answer is Denzel Washington. Question 14. My name literally means son of bonehead, and in my 1202 work, Liberabachi, I discussed the breeding of rabbits. This breeding problem gave way to a sequence named after me that is useful in many mathematical fields. Who am I? The sequence is the Fibonacci sequence. The guy is Fibonacci. Question 15. Born in ancient China around 551 BC, my teachings and philosophy form the basis of East Asian culture and society and remains influential across China and East Asia today. Chow Yun-Fat played me in the 2010 movie with my name. Who am I? The answer is Confucius. Question 16. After not making it in the NFL, I decided I would do the next best thing and become the most successful man in the entertainment industry. After doing that, I started my own tequila company called Terramana Tequila. Who am I? Terramana Tequila belongs to The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Question 17. I won two Academy Awards for Best Actor, three BAFTAs, and two Golden Globes. For a few years after my breakout role in A Streetcar Named Desire, 
I was a little slow on work. However, that all changed when I was cast as Vito Corleone in The Godfather. Who am I? The answer is Marlon Brando. Question number 18. Earning hundreds of millions of dollars in tournament wins and endorsement deals, I live a very successful life. However, a couple of arrests and a very public divorce did taint my image a little bit. Nothing that winning a few more golf tournaments can't fix. Who am I? I am Tiger Woods. Question 19. Most of my roles I play the classic bombshell beauty. However, my role as Harley Quinn in the DC film Suicide Squad allowed me to display my acting skills, which led to more roles like Sharon Tate in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Who am I? I am Margot Robbie. Question number 20. I am a Portuguese soccer player, and if I do say so myself, I am one of the greatest players in the sport of all time. For example, my 2007-2008 season with United, I scored 42 league and cup goals and won the Golden Shoe Award. Who am I? My name is Cristiano Ronaldo. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Check back tomorrow. It will be Trebek Trivia. I'm doing that one. I'm actually recording that one tonight because tomorrow I will be doing a live trivia show uh, at the club here in town. And so I won't be around for the premiere of that video, but I will be back around for the premiere of Friday's video, which will be Friday Night Pub Quiz. That one's always pretty popular, so I try to make it for that one. I'll be available in the chat during the premiere, which usually happens around noon of Central Standard Time, which is about 6 p.m. London time, if that helps anybody. One of my favorite things with YouTube is it gives you very detailed statistics of who is watching from where. And there are a ton of countries that watch this channel. Uh, stuff like the Philippines, Australia, Denmark. I don't know what your time zones are, so these are probably popping up in the middle of the night or at the worst convenient time. So I apologize. But if you're awake at 6 p.m. London time, that's when I'm normally doing the video premiere and there's a chat option and I sit right in there and if you have any questions or you want to talk some smack or uh, criticize the trivia quizzes, I'll be right there to take it all. I think that's it. I don't have anything else to say, so question 21 for today's trivia. I was the greatest quarterback to ever play the game of American football. I have been to the Super Bowl 10 times and won 7 of those. I hold a good deal of NFL records, so I finally retired in 2022 to give everyone else a chance to catch up. Who am I? This should be an easy one, especially since this quiz came out this week, which is the week that he retired. It's been all over the news. The answer is Tom Brady. After I think it was 22 seasons, Tom Brady finally retiring from the NFL.